Hi everybody, Jeremy here and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use our new Attach to Body feature. This new system allows you to take elements from your prototype and attach them to your hands, your head, or your body. Now we've made some really exciting improvements that give designers so much more creative control over their prototype, so let's jump in and get started. So in this tutorial, we're going to create a welding prototype. We're going to have two different objects attached to our hands and a welding helmet attached to our head. So to start with, I'm going to create our elements just using basic shapes and shapes XR. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're really only going to focus on the attachment system. So feel free to create any assets you like. Anything you create will work for this tutorial. Just make sure you create something to attach to your left hand, your right hand, and something to attach to your head. All right, so I've got my basic models here. I've got an arc welder and I've got an electrode holder to hold my filler material. And I've got my welder's helmet. And I've also added this metal seam here in the scene where users will actually do their welding. So let's start by making sure all of our objects are grouped together. Now to do that, I press the A button on my dominant hand and I choose the select tool. Now your selection tool defaults to Raycast and the Raycast is really cool. It allows me to pick up and manipulate objects from a distance, but for our purposes, I'm going to disengage the Raycast. So to do that, I just tap my dominant thumbstick to the right until the Raycast goes away. And now I'm just going to hold down on my dominant hand trigger button and move my cursor through all the objects to ensure that they're all selected. Once my objects are selected, I release the trigger button and the inspector appears on my non-dominant hand. And from my menu, I'm going to choose group and that's it. So go through your project and make sure all your objects are grouped together before you start building out your prototype. This will just make the whole process much easier. Okay, our objects are grouped together, and now it's time to make sure our objects are placed appropriately in the scene. So let's take a minute and talk about viewpoints. To access your viewpoint menu, choose the space option from your non-dominant hand menu, and from the top of the menu, choose this tab here, viewpoints. This will display your viewpoints in the scene, and uh, this mannequin here with the number one above their head, that's a viewpoint. Now, if you don't see your viewpoint in the scene, it's possible that you're standing in the middle of it. So use your grip buttons and move away from your original starting point until you see your viewpoint in the scene. Okay, so what is a viewpoint? A viewpoint is a specific geographic location that you want users to view your prototype from. So when users play the prototype, this right here is where they will be positioned in your scene. And to move your viewpoint, just grab the head like you would any object and place it in the scene wherever you want. All right, so let's go ahead and attach our elements. I'm going to move my arc welder over to the viewpoint and place it next to this virtual left hand controller here. Now I can also move the controller itself to better align my placement for the attachment. Now once I've placed everything where I want it, I select the arc welder by touching it and clicking on my trigger button. And then once again, my inspector appears on my non-dominant hand controller. And from the inspector, go to this section of the menu here where it says attach to and choose left hand. All right, let's do the same for the right hand. And the head. And to see the attachments in action, we need to go into play mode. And to enter play mode, just press in on your non-dominant hand thumbstick like a button. And as you can see, we're immediately teleported to the viewpoint and all the objects are attached to our body. It's that simple. Now, just a couple things to keep in mind when building attachment prototypes. If you duplicate a scene that contains attached elements, ShapesXR will copy your attachment points to the new scene, and that just makes prototyping much easier. So for example, all of the elements in this scene here have been attached to the viewpoint. So if I go into my spaces menu and I duplicate this scene, all the elements in the duplicated scene are still attached to my viewpoint. So now on scene two, I can add new elements. And now when I go to play mode and switch between the scenes with my non-dominant hand thumbstick, you can see the attached elements changing, but their position in relation to my controller remains consistent. And if you combine this with interactions, you can create some really amazing prototypes.
And just a few final notes before we wrap up. Number one, you can attach as many objects as you want to your hands, your head, and your body. Number two, just a reminder, if you have multiple objects that you want to attach to your body, it's much easier to group those objects together first before attaching. All right, everybody, that's it. Thanks so much for joining me. Take the information you learned here and go out and design some amazing attachment prototypes. I look forward to seeing what you create. Bye, everybody.